It's my feel good birthday show. Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in for what has been a cracker of a show thus far. We really do appreciate you being here. Time now to inspire you. We all love to travel to faraway places, especially on our show on a Travel Tuesday, where we are attracted to some famous buildings. Now, much like a photograph, architecture, design, I think it's, um, can detail, or some of those details um, can really stand out and, yeah, and deserve to be appreciated. Um, and that's what we're gonna do this morning. I think unlike a photograph, physical structures do um, offer something slightly different. And, and we're gonna yeah. take you through some of the most amazing functional places these are That's actually right, man. functional buildings and designs out there for our travel tuesday so let's kick it and off now some incredible in dubai ones, yeah. mm. we're heading to dubai yeah I definitely i've been there a couple of times now and it's one of my favorite cities it's beautiful as well wow. but the dubai frame this building look at that man it's a really controversial structure dubbed uh, the world's <laughs> largest picture frame it was recently unveiled in the city of dubai made up of 200 meter 150 meter tall towers that are connected by a hundred square meter observation bridge that is massive wow, man. I mean that's crazy and uh, this giant frame which costs 43.5 million dollars to build boasts 360 degrees views across the city uh, namely old Dubai which you'll find in the north and the new Dubai in the south and uh, the golden exterior was, exterior was inspired by the expo 2020 I wonder how many pictures have been taken of the city oh, through this frame but look at that <laughs> that, is that is or typical Dubai. Typical okay, well, Dubai. let's see if I can top that as we move to China to the Piano House. Um, the name is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> um, <laughs> the building is shaped like a giant piano, and then we've got like, what looks like a, a double bass next to it. The piano portion of the house stands on three concrete legs and features a roof terrace beneath a canopy shaped like the piano's open top. Wow. Um, it's unclear exactly why and for whom the house was built, um, <laughs> but it's in the Anhui province in China, so if you ever find yourself down in that neck of the woods, go and check it out. Well, it's also Awesome. an attraction that's for sure and who, and then, who needs a reason actually who needs it a, if it's you can cool, build man. it why yeah. not it looks cool man uh, the longer burger headquarters in newark ohio that's what you're looking at look at that oh, cool, man. <laughs> so it's a company an american manufacturer of handcrafted maple wood baskets and uh, it offers other home and lifestyle products as well but the company headquarters is designed in the shape of a giant wooden basket like you can see <laughs> and it's based in newark um, the handles of this massive basket are even heated to prevent ice forming during winter causing destruction or injury to the rest of the building and its employees. So, I mean, cool. Really, and there's our Zeebles. Cool. Check, there's our Zeebles. Yeah, yeah, man. She's actually been there. I'm just waiting for a that. giant to come and pick up his picnic basket <laughs> and walk <laughs> on. That's really like cool. That. So let's move on to our fourth pick for today. And we go to Freedom Park, the Chapo Museum in South Africa. And I love that. It's actually Chapo. You've got to say it with a bit of a Kosa okay. click. Okay. It's an exhibition space in Freedom Park in Chwane. Um, and so obviously the, the space itself is really important to wow, us. Wow, look at um, that. It was opened as the government's response to the truth and record Reconciliation um, Commission um, and Freedom Park Memorial that honors those who sacrificed their lives for our current freedoms. It also celebrates the diversity of the people living here in South Africa. And the original idea was for the building to create bolder shapes to blend in with the environment. And if you've ever been there, I've done a couple of shows there. It's amazing how it mm -hmm. kind of bleeds into that environment. Absolutely awesome. Um, and it's, it really has become um, part of our iconic space is the Isi Vivane space, a resting, final resting place surrounds a series of boulders absolutely wow. beautiful and this is in our backyard so go and this see right here. and appreciate it if you can that's amazing man some incredible buildings you know scattered all across the globe and i love it so whether you're planning your next trip to dubai or simply exploring uh, our beautiful own backyard here in south africa make sure you definitely work some of these landmarks and take in photos because like zoe man, that's please. the thing take photos like zoe <laughs> zoe loves taking photos